Hi, I'm Thomas, and this is my submission for the project number one, the single screen app project on my Udacity Android Basics class. Um, I decided to do one on a business called The Black Market, which is a vintage clothing store in Toronto. Um, it's some place that when, you, when you're traveling, you come across it. it. It's really kind of a neat and interesting place to be, um, and it's something that I found almost to be one of my favorite places of all time. So I thought I might as well highlight it in this app while I was building it and uh, to kind of try to do it some justice if I can with the limited knowledge that I do have. So to start off, uh, I'm in the Android manifest and I removed the action bar. I found that much easier to deal with on a single screen app because it gives you a lot more real estate and really you don't need that app title bar at the very top, especially in a single screen app when there's no settings or anything to handle. Um, that's the first thing that I did and then moved on and locked the screen orientation to portrait because as in the rubric said, you don't need a screen that rotates into landscape. And I found that with applications that rotate to landscape, it's really hard to manage the images, um, cropping images and getting them to stay how you like them in landscape is a, is an entirely different kind of project in its own right. So I found that it makes more sense for me to kind of lock it in its place um, and then move on to, I guess, further down the line coming up with applications that will rotate. I will now move into my um, activity main. So my activity main, the first thing that I went and did was change the relative layout background to black. I found that much easier um, to kind of handle with the text in the back and it adds something a little different than the simple white. I tried making an image. As you'll see further down here, I actually ended up inputting this into the code because I did do it. Um, but I found that with the image, it was much harder to read the text. So I changed this image around from a spiral background that I had done originally, and I put it into add another picture of the actual market itself further down the, tech, um, the I guess, relative layout, sorry. Um, further then, I moved on to actually inputting all the text so all the text views are basically all given IDs. And they're all layered, I guess, below each other. I could have used a linear layout, but I liked the idea of having being able to set, um, I guess, the view bounds of both the, I guess, aligned to parent top of the first image view and uh, all the other ones kind of in their own ways. Um, it, gives me, it gives me the ability to do that even if I don't need to specifically do that. Um, as you can see, I guess, with each of these text views, I've given them kind of an ID, I've given them a title, I've given them a color, I've given them a size and SP, I've broken them and given them margins um, in DP. I've then, uh, I guess, so I'll write how I have, I guess, the description title, I have the description itself, which is a vintage clothing store, record store, and barber shop in the heart of downtown Toronto, where everything is $10. It's a really, really cool place if you ever get to check it out. Um, moving on, I then changed the margins for the actual smaller text views to be a little bit bigger on one side and then the same size on the right because I found that it's a little bit better to have this text at the start indented more but then finish further in the end because it, it, you don't really notice it but it gives you a little bit more space on the overall app. Um, again, I made all these kind of in different sizes so the text size is 16 SP on the main kind of like descriptions and the titles are all in 24 SP. I then moved on to the contact information. Um, I gave that another ID and title. And then I moved on to, I guess, the telephone, the address, uh, the website, the email, all that stuff. And each one of these I've tried to input with an auto link so that when you access them, they will show up with a link and that you can actually click and access to get into the uh, either the I guess telephone or the website or the email. The one thing that didn't seem to work was the address. I tried my best to try to find a solution to that, but uh, unfortunately, I guess with my limited knowledge, I was not able to actually get this to link. Um, maybe someone at the forums will be able to help me there, but other than that, it seems to be working everything else just fine. Um, again, I went then to the address, I went to the website, I went to the email, and then I went to the hours of operation and the hours of operation um, it's just a very simple title, and then these block of text is broken up for Monday, Tuesday, then it breaks down the next line Wednesday, Thursday, then it breaks down the next line Friday, Saturday, and then the last line on Sunday. Um, again, very simple, uh, hollow orange dark, 16 SP margins, and 
that's basically the application. Um, I'm going to post a, I guess, link or an actual image of my screenshotted uh, application itself. But then overall, this is what the design kind of looks like. Obviously, this image at the bottom gets cropped out um, in this one because of the title bar at the top. But because I removed that title bar, it actually gives me overall bigger, more real estate that I actually have access to. So here's kind of what it looks like. You know, it's a vintage clothing store, record store, barber shop in the heart of downtown Toronto where everything's $10, contact information. Um, with all these, I guess, purple links are all links. Like, no, sorry, purple pink links are actually clickable links that you can access to get to either the phone number, the website, the email. And then the hours of operation, again, are just broken down into simple kind of readable blocks. I wasn't going to be putting it into, like, say, a... Um, I don't know what you would call that. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, whatever it is, I wasn't going to be putting it into one of those little square ruler boxes, uh, <laughs> but uh, I thought I might as well try to make it as readable as possible. So I really hope you think, I guess my app is okay. I hope you like it. Um, if you have any questions or any feedback from me, please give it to me. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed my kind of description of it. And uh, thank you very much.